Alright, you guys, I decided to bring you along to possibly finish this. We'll see how long it takes me, but happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I don't know if you guys do anything for Valentine's Day or not. I don't, but either way, I wanted to do a Valentine's Day painting and figure why not tell everybody happy Valentine's Day. Just because I don't do anything for it doesn't mean you won't. I just got done with the final bit of white on this painting and so far she's been extremely easy because all of this white is one color white her skin is all one color her hair was all one color I'm not a huge fan on how these letters are looking honestly I think especially this L you can't see it that well with the light board on versus in person. I feel like this dark color should have ran straight up this whole side of this L at the very least. I am tempted to pull these two rows of red out here and these like three rows here to match up to the bottom part there. I don't know if I will, but I'm tempted to do that, but it's not just that letter. This E, this dark red, all probably should also be the light red. Also in this part of that E, it should all probably be that light red. Um, maybe this inside should actually have been the darker red, which is a lighter red. The O also, this whole bottom being this dark red isn't quite right. I don't know about the V just having this tiny little dot here. I feel like the V should have had more of a cutout and a darker color. But the side being dark here is fine. The side of the L being dark, this should have been the whole side though. Um, the inside the E right here being dark is okay, but I feel like this should have been all light and maybe that was the inside that should be dark. It just doesn't look quite right to me. Other than that, the painting looks really nice, but those parts just don't look quite right to me. Um, let's get the K's done, I guess. Okay. And then for anybody that watches this that does not look at my community page as often, we do have a uh, Welcome Spring something flowery is what I called it um, next month in March. And then we are going to do a wolf painting in April. Um, the wolf painting I think I'm going to be doing is the one G normal that I just uploaded a video on because that is an absolutely gorgeous painting. It's a wolf in Little Red Riding Hood. So I think that might be the one I'm doing. Again, another big one. Mom's going to do a few of her small ones. And Tita said she will also get one that she likes to work on with us. Um, details for that though, since... I I want more details for it. Like I, it's not fully planned out what's gonna go or how it's gonna go yet. But next month, spring, and then after that, we will have wolves. But I will give you more updates on that when it's more finalized. And these are all in the direction I don't like working in. I just do not like working sideways like this. So. Right now it's technically nighttime and most things in the house are asleep. Um, don't know for how long. decided why not do a video since stuff is quiet and I'm just hanging out by myself. Dogs are all asleep right this second. Again, like I said, don't know for how long. So I finished this girl and then I will be working on finishing my rainbow lady again after that. And and we'll see what we do, if anything. I do have a few other small paintings I'm working on, some others I have to finish. So we'll see what I end up doing after that before we uh, 
do the spring painting. Who knows? I might be very slow about it. I might not have any time to do anything before the spring painting. We will see. But yeah, this girl had worked up extremely quickly. This is technically, I think, my third day I pulled her down to work on her. But I could have finished this last bit the last time I worked on her. I just decided, eh, I'll sit her away for now. So I sat her up and just watched a movie without working on a diamond painting. So I could have easily finished her, though. This is not a lot left. However, this is the part left that I don't really care to do. I don't like these last finishing touches. I mean, there's still a little bit more here than just the finishing touches, but still when I get around this close to done, I don't like working on the canvas anymore. I know, I'm a weird one. People are like, yay, I'm almost done, but me it's like, ugh, I just have this little bit and I have to switch colors more because of that and it's at the edge of the painting and like, yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm strange. That's all right. Let's see, what color are we going to do next? I'm just going to grab out the one, I think, and finish the ones off. So, there's not too many ones left. kind of see the whole painting. Um, and of course I just put K's away and there's a K. Uh, sometimes I'll take the one and just place the one over the K because it's what I have in my hand. I don't want to re-grab out what I just put back and they're both red but I'm trying not to do that this time around. But sometimes I definitely do that. Play the lazy card. Um, is that all of our one? Oh, there's one more. I got this little one right there. And I think that's all the ones. Unless I also missed one of those and don't see it right now. <laughs> uh, maybe I should do six next get the six out of the way because there is the most sixes I think so six also I didn't cut um cardstock to put in here like I normally do I normally cut cardstock to put in here and I didn't so I'm taking an empty one out of here and putting in the spot I'm working on because otherwise rows can slip down which is why I always put cardstock in them but apparently I didn't do that this time I just kitted this up and started working on it and never got around to cutting the cardstock so I need to get that done because I don't like when they slide a row down when I take a color out so. part of me wants to turn the painting sideways so that this I'm not placing. Should I turn the painting sideways so I'm not placing sideways for all these sixes? I hate placing sideways. Let's turn her sideways. Although I got you guys all set up to look at the bottom, so now this is going to change the angle. And some of hers off the board because the board's longer this way. Crap. Well then. Um, I could turn it sideways this way, where the whole board is sideways, but I'll just deal with it. Screw it. I'll just deal with it. <sighs> so, other than if you guys are celebrating or celebrate it, how's your guys' days been going? 
last night, this morning, whatever. Last time I tried to sleep. Nothing wanted to let me sleep. Again. Dogs were howling so much. I don't quite blame them though. They heard noises outside. I heard them too. So part of their howling was definitely something's outside. I can't blame them for telling me something's outside. But it is so annoying to try to sleep with a choir of dogs going off. And I just kind of decide to give up on sleeping. And it's like, all right, well, I guess I'm up now. Also, besides them trying to let me know something was going on, I just was having trouble sleeping. Like, I felt tired, but at the same time, just, like, couldn't sleep. It was one of those times where you just lay there awake and just kind of toss and turn. And yeah, it was fun. So... I have a few videos I have to edit for you guys. Quite a few videos I have to edit for you guys. Mom made a huge Timu order, or multiple small orders, I guess I should say. And uh, some of them, she was told, sorry, we couldn't deliver your package, or we lost your package, or whatever. And she was giving her money back for the package, so we had to reorder stuff. And then she ended up getting a package anyway, and it just was months late or whatever so we got some of those and some of them are double painting some of them aren't so it's a little bit of fun i ordered um a large pouch thing to put my larger diamond paintings in and i got another 40 by 50 book to put my uh, 40 by 50s in Sadly, the pouch thing isn't quite what I expected it to be, but I think it'll still work out okay for putting the larger ones in. I think it's still a little bit more uh, water resistant, stuff like that, but it isn't going to keep them from getting bent. So I think I'm going to put like a cardboard piece in there above and below the paintings. It is just like a zip up uh, pouch. So. I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. I'll try it out. But it wasn't a cheap pouch, however, uh, they gave me a discount on it or something like that. So it was better. I mean, I think it was listed at like 19 bucks, and then with the discount it cost like 8 or something like that. So happy, happy for that one. But I was trying, I'm still trying to figure out like... The way I store my big paintings now, there's definitely nothing wrong with it. It works, but it just, I don't know. I wanted something different, I guess. Just put it that way. And this something different isn't still quite what I wanted, I don't think. Because I really like having a page number to say what page my painting is on. And I don't have it that way. So some of my other bigger ones are rolled up in tubes. And then at least I have a tube number. Like I have five paintings in tube one. And five paintings in tube two. And five paintings in tube three. So at least like I know the paintings are in tube one, two, or three. But then you have to unroll them all from the tube. And that's a lot more difficult than just flipping to a page. However, I know they make bigger books. But the bigger books are a lot more expensive. So also... A lot larger size obviously to fit a larger painting so I'm not sure how I'd even feel about a bigger book if I could get a bigger book so I'm not really sure how I think works best for my larger paintings still to log them in a way that I like the best um, I don't know if anybody noticed but I deleted all of the pictures off my website of my paintings and I'm re-uploading them. I did that because being as I'm not paying a monthly fee for the website, it's just a free site right now. I only have so much data I'm allowed to use and I was getting too close to that data limit. So I deleted all the photos to change the photo size and re-upload them so I used less data. Some of the photos were using three times the amount of data they're using now so that's nice the 
also these little containers I'm using, they're not bad, but this set for some reason is worse than my other set. They don't want to stay closed as easily. I mean, it is one of those things where you can kind of bend it into shape and it'll, it'll stay closed a little bit better, but I seem like I have to force it to stay in correct position to stay closed a little bit more. I feel like it's the exact same set as the last one from the same company and everything else, but the last one I didn't seem to have that issue when I was working on my Halloween painting. This one I seem to be having that issue. So, I don't know. But that is one thing with these plastic latch type containers like that. They're easy to bend, which also means sometimes they bend out of shape or they don't latch correctly anymore, which is, I'm sure most people have had issues with, with the ones that are conjoined, like you have, what is it, five boxes in a row? And then like, sometimes you'll have one that the lid just doesn't want to stay shut on. Oh wow, that was horrible. Um, and then you have to like hold over all of them, otherwise when you pour one out, more than one will spill out because the lid just doesn't want to latch shut. So at least with these ones, because they're all individual, you don't have to worry about that. However, I don't like that they're not fully latched shut. I mean, again, the lid closes tight enough that I don't think you're going to really have drill spill out if the whole container falls over if the lid's closed. But if the lid's open, the smaller containers inside hit the ground, they're definitely going to open. I do got a few other ones that seem like they have better latches than these smaller ones and are a better size than these smaller ones. However, I still think my favorite is a mixture of the Tic Tac sizes. And I was thinking I really would like to get more of the Tic Tac size ones instead of these square-like ones. So I don't know. We'll see if I do that. Well, the Tic Tac sizes with using the small ones and the big ones just seem to uh, give me the most room to move stuff around and have a lot of drills in one container or very little drills in one container. And because they're taller, they don't take up as much ground space. And as I said, I like less ground space being taken up. I don't mind if it's taller. I like height over width and length because I sit it next to me and I have all the height in the world I want. I just don't have all the width or length in the world. So my uh, tape is also getting a little weak if you noticed. And this canvas doesn't have the greatest glue, so I'm not really trying to replace it since I'm almost done. The glue's not bad. I am really just like, I have not worked on a very good canvas with glue lately. They've all just seemed a bit too weak. I don't know if all of the canvases are being made weaker than they used to be or what, because every canvas I've had, the drills have been a little too shifty for me. And who likes shifty drills? Okay, I know some people do. But you could also make a pun there off of them being shifty. So, you know. I think we got our sevens done now. Cool. So not too many letters left and I will be done with this painting. And like I said, she looks really nice. I am very pleased with how she's turned out. I am a little iffy on the words though, and I'm questioning if I should go back and do it or not. But again, she won when I asked you guys what I should do for Valentine's Day, and it works out. She's very easy to do. Reason I got her is because of my grandpa. He used to love Betty Boop, so Betty Boop and Garfield by far were his favorite too. Not that he didn't like others. But those two were definitely his favorite. And he had different objects of theirs decorating his house. And he had a Garfield in his car. And he had tattoos of them and everything else. Like, they were definitely his favorite. 
and I went to see the first Garfield movie with them. It's one of the movies, I mean, we went to see the movies together quite a bit, but Garfield was one of the ones we went to see. And I don't, I don't know if he got to see Garfield too. I kind of feel like he didn't. But I don't remember. I am very, very horrible with time. Dates all just kind of go a little haywire with me. I never know what day of the week we're on or what month we're in or how long ago something was. It's just not something that my brain can correctly uh, keep track of. But well, that's alright. Especially considering nowadays we all have phones and everything else so we can just look whenever the hell we need to know what time it is or what day it is. or Most of the time we can look back at what day something else was. Yep. Alright. And there's a six I missed. <laughs> oh, it's so close to the C's. I am just gonna turn it into a C. How about that? The six is going to be a C. It's not going to change anything. It's background color. It literally takes out one C and puts in one six. They're not even like a space in between where I missed one in the middle of a line. So my pens really need to have the glue dots replaced. So, if you see me changing pens out a lot right this second, that is why. I don't remember the last time I replaced them again. It was either the start of this painting or before that. And they've been used on this painting, on Rainbow Lady, and on a little bit of my Diamond Art Club. So, they've at least lasted a whole painting. That's not bad, right? I feel like maybe I should try some of the other glue stuff that I've heard other people using in their pens lately, but at the same time, I have the glue dots. I like the glue dots, and I've tried some others that... I don't know if they're the same as what the other people are using now, but I've tried some other double-sided tape type stuff in my pen and didn't like it. I've tried tack and didn't like it. I'm not a big fan of the wax. I've never tried any of the putties or anything though. But again, one thing I really like about the glue dots is there is zero residue. There is never residue on my drills. The most it will do is sometimes a glue drop, glue dot will pull out of the pen and stay on the drill, but then you just pull it back off the drill and put it back in your pen or throw it out. Like it never leaves any form of residue whatsoever. So. I don't know if I would really even want to try a putty or anything else because of that aspect of it. It's not like I'm settling for the glue dots. I think they work out quite well. Maybe there's better, but if I never try better, then how would I know, right? So. That one is done. Now we have... I guess I'll do the fives. Five. Here we are. And we're almost done with her. And it hasn't been too horribly long of a video. I've done way longer videos chatting with you guys. So, cool. I mean, we'll see how long this actually goes for by the time I'm done, but I'm on five. Five. All right, and I'm just going to single place the fives, I'm guessing. There's a row of three and a row of four, but 
I don't think I'm going to switch pens just for that and try to get the drills in the boat lined up more. Right now they're just dropped in the boat and see they're, if you can see that, they're just completely dropped in the boat. I didn't shake them out very much, but I don't need to since I have so few that I need to put in here. Sometimes when I have this few I need to put in here, I don't even take them out of the container. I just stab in the container until I grab a color I need. So. Still, I think it takes longer than pouring them out and pouring them back in, but I definitely do sometimes just stab in the container, like, give me the drill. I don't want to have to pour it back. One of those things of being lazy that actually makes more work for you, because you have to stab in the drills more often to get them in the correct alignment with your pen to pick them up. And sometimes you'll get them upside down or sideways, or sometimes you'll get multiple ones stuck to your pen, depending on how much of your glue dot's sticking out. Like, it makes more work. So you're trying to be lazy and you make more work for yourself, but isn't that commonly how that goes? Like those, it never pays to be lazy. Makes more work in the long run. But when it comes to diamond painting and doing stuff like this, if you're not worried about how much time it takes it doesn't really matter if you take longer to place your drills or not and there is one on my pen it just does not want to stick to the canvas that's what I was saying about the canvas is still a little lacking in stick this drill shouldn't have had an issue going on there and this tip I'm using right now is the newest of the glue dot so it has the most stick of any of the pen tips I'm working with right now. So that could be part of why I didn't want to drop that drill. Another part could have been that drill was a little bit smaller so it kind of got wedged in the pen tip a little bit more because I've had that happen too. And it's still not enough that you can't just place it down if you have some good adhesive on the canvas. But it's enough that a little bit more of the drill gets covered up so it's harder to get out of the pen on a light glue canvas and then she does not have any washi tape around her because I thought I had Valentine's Day tape and I didn't however the Valentine's Day tape was just delivered so I'm actually gonna put washi tape around the edges of this painting once I'm finished with this painting and that's not something uncommon for me to do depending on how sticky the canvas edges are. Sometimes I don't put washi on them at all. Other times I put the washi on afterwards just because it goes along with the painting. And I want to put it on to go along with the painting. Other times I put it on beforehand because it's extra sticky around the edge and I don't want my hand to stick to it while I'm working on it. So again, that always just depends on the canvas and my mood. My um, consistency on stuff, it tends to be the lack of consistency. <laughs> um, I've had somebody tell me before, so my uh, pattern is the lack of a pattern. It's like I still fall into the pattern of not falling into a pattern <laughs> routine or whatever you want to say it's like I don't like stuff being too repetitive so it's like I like doing stuff the same way but at the same time I don't like doing it the same way because then it's too repetitive so that's why I, I always start like at the top corner of a painting but then like sometimes I'll start in the middle of that top corner or sometimes I'll open a larger area or smaller area sometimes I start with the most color sometimes I start with the color that's most vivid other times I start with like I just don't like to fall into a pattern I guess which is kind of funny because they say that, you know, like with autism and stuff like that, that having a routine, having stuff like that is good. And it's just like, to me, I don't like it. It gets too repetitive when my days are the exact same every single day. It's like, 
I don't even know if I'm actually like reliving a day or if like it's the next day or like so I do not like stuff to be the exact same every day it just it's like a groundhog day to me if you wake up at the same time you go to bed at the same time you go to school go to work whatever the exact same and then like you're doing the same work and everything else it just to me it seems so repetitive that it's too close that it honestly feels like a groundhog day. It feels like I'm stuck in the same day. I don't know if anybody gets that, but that's kind of the best way I can describe it for me. So, I do like stuff to be consistent still. It's just like, to what degree? I'm one of those very, very gray line type people. It's not yes or no, it's both yes and no, because it's like a little bit of yes and a little bit of no, and there's not just, you know, one way about it for me. So, do I like change? Is a no. I don't like change. But do I like everything always being the same? No, I don't like that either. And it's kind of funny, because there's a lot of questions people ask me sometimes, and it's like, yes and no. Well, which one? It has to be one. It's like, it, it isn't one though for me. It honestly is both. I, I can't pick one because both are wrong, but both are right. Like, and then I have that happen to me quite a bit where I just, there is not a yes and or a no. It's a both. It's a little bit of each. It always sucks when you have to pick one, but you can't, you know. You're not like, yeah, I definitely agree with the yes or no, because I feel like it's both, but you, you literally don't have the option of both. And I don't know if any of that makes any sense, because I don't remember, like, any examples to give. But, yeah. Oh, come on. See this? stupid drill and then if you noticed it got darker or this got brighter and the room got darker or whatever my computer monitor just turned off and now that my computer monitor turned off it's actually so dark I can't see my drills in my boat okay cool there we go so, I use my computer monitor to give me enough light to see the drills in my boat otherwise it's like pitch black in my hand almost Is that the last J? No. Look how close to done we are with her. But I was thinking about it and I really don't think I've ever watched anything with Betty Boop. I could be wrong, but I don't think I have. Which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy to think of that. I know she's in certain cartoons or movies or whatnot, but I don't think I've ever watched anything with her in it. Um, in. Also, so far, my chalk labels that I am working with for this one are working out nicely. Um, I did buy labels from Timu and try them and pens from Timu and I don't know they just didn't seem like they wrote as dark or like they didn't stay on as well or something like that I don't know what the difference between a Timu chalk label is and an Amazon chalk label and like I don't know if there was a difference but honestly the ones I got from Timu for some reason even with the pen I was using for my last containers that I got got off of Amazon they seemed like they wiped clean too easily whereas these labels from Amazon seem like they don't wipe clean as easily. I can actually wipe over them and the text doesn't come off, but they seemed like they came off with the uh, Timu ones. So I don't know what the difference is, but apparently depending on what chalk labels you have, your luck may vary. And depending on what pen you're using, your luck may vary. I bought some more labels off of Amazon because the Timu ones wiped off like that. I got my money back for the Timu ones. I also bought a pack of chalk 
pens or whatever you want to call them off of Amazon. So I had a few different color chalk that had a finer tip so that I can um, write my letters smaller because the one that you get free with the labels has a thicker tip and it's harder to write a little bit more detailed like that. So I got those recently and used those for this lady. I wrote her labels in red because why not? She's red. Valentine's Day is kind of this red color. Like that goes together, right? Um, Again, me not knowing what day it is. How far into this month are we? Huh. It is... It's the 12th. Eh. I don't know. I might. I don't. I don't really want to say so in case I do or don't. But I actually, even though you guys know, probably, if you watch much of my stuff, I'm not a pink fan. But I do have a pink canvas that I'm thinking about working on for Tita's thing as well. So I don't know if I'm going to go back to finishing paintings or doing that. But I do want to get Rainbow Lady done first. Like, my original thought was not stopping Rainbow Lady until Valentine's Day painting. And then going back to her and not stopping her until I am done with her. I didn't want to do anything else while I was working on her because I wanted to get her done quicker. I, however, have worked on a few things while working on her. Like I said, I have pulled down my uh, Diamond Art Club landscape again and done a little bit of that. I have a 20 by 30 that I've done a little bit on. Normally, I would have finished in like one or two sittings, but I've done it in multiple different sittings because I have done a little bit of it, then a little bit of Rainbow Lady or whatever. So, this should be our last letter. This K here should finish this painting off for us. And I can show you guys what she looks like finished. So I'm thinking this video is going to be basically like a whip and chat as well as a finish. However, I am not going to be taking her to the desk and showing you her like I do normally, but I will be turning the backboard light off and turning the flash on the phone and giving you a look over of what our lady looks like and then you guys kind of get a finished idea and I might still sh show a finish in a separate finish video depending on how well this looks. I might just put her with another finish and show a few finishes later kind of like I re-showed some of my winter finishes. But I don't think I'm going to do another Valentine's Day one. I think this is going to be my only Valentine's Day painting. So let's turn this off. And let's turn the flash on and let's see if we can pull you guys back here and I will unclip her from the board and oop. look at that there's our Betty Boop. How's she look? Pretty? Alright. Now, clip her back to the board. <laughs> Put some washi tape around her. Okay, let's pull this up here. Alright. So, let's try to get you guys a look. Well, my phone's going to fall now. Sorry. Bumpy ride. I don't know if I'm editing any of this video. I don't really care for these pink that they put in here. Last time I looked at her, I just had the skin color. I don't really care for these pink. I'm tempted to make this this gray for this line too now, actually. But the, this pink looks a little off to me as well. That could just be that line right there. That could just be the line here and here. One of these could be the line. This one could just be the piece of the arm or something. Am I being too picky? 
probably, but I'm me. Do I want to spend more time adjusting this painting? Maybe. I don't know. So, these are what I ordered for my Valentine's washi tape. And what do we want to put with her? She's a little bit more red. So, maybe we go with the one that's the most red. Hmm. Or this one. I think like this red doesn't look bad either. I mean, none of them are wrong, right? But I'm thinking one of these two, and I'm thinking the one with the most white, actually. This one looks like it should be the right way to go. So. Now this does actually say something on it. I don't know if you can see that. There is actually like a word or something on there. Think. T, J, and K. I don't know. So, we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. But, however, because there is a word there and the hearts are only going in one direction, it does kind of have to go in one direction. Not the band, by the way. Um, so, we're going to put this down here, like that, and then cut there, and it is clear, I don't know if you notice, that is actually clear, so you can see through it, but that's okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and clip her this way. And sorry, let's see if I can adjust your angle a little bit better. There you go. I know you're not straight with the canvas. And then this one, I have to go this way. Oh, wow. I didn't expect it to rip like that. Crap. Why did it rip? I can't say I've ever had one of these tapes rip on me like that. There's a first time for everything. So what I was going to say is I want the, the hearts to go facing inwards still like this. So I have to actually start at this side and run up to that side. There we go. And then... I need to cut this off slightly overlapping so I can cut my corners correctly. And now we're going to flip her around again. Oh, there's a little piece of extra tape up here. So again, the Timu washi tapes aren't the best washi tapes. I think we all know that. They're cheap, and sometimes stuff is cheap for a reason, but it accomplishes the purpose of giving some extra design to your canvas and covering the glue. And if a lot of glue is sticking around the edge, it sticks to it better because the glue is what holds it on, right? So even if it's not very sticky, I've actually thought about getting some like decorative paper strips to put on some of my canvases because... Again, if the glue's going off the canvas enough, that'll work just fine, you know? So, there we go. That gets done with our tape. I think that tape looks pretty decent on her. Again, maybe the bottom one I shouldn't have put with the heart facing in. Maybe I messed up with that, because... I wanted the hearts facing in on the top.
top, obviously that's the correct orientation. On the sides, I think that makes the most sense. But with the bottom, it's now upside down. Maybe I should have put it upside right on the bottom. <sighs> yeah, maybe I should have put it upside right on the bottom. I think that would have made more sense. Oh wow, it's stuck to itself nicely. Come on. There we go. I don't know if this piece will be reusable, but we'll see. Oh, that's why that piece is under. There we go. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be reuse reusable, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to reuse it, maybe. Having trouble, having trouble, having trouble. Okay. I'm guessing it's not going to stick now. I'm guessing the little stick it had isn't going to be enough anymore now that I did this, but we're going to try. Okay. And get close to the drills and paste it down. Maybe? Hmm, maybe? Alright, now I go in here and I grab a scalpel. Which I ordered more scalpels too because I now only have my two large ones left at this desk. And I like using the small ones for this. Oh well. Alright. So... We're going to go from the corner to the corner, cut the tape, and I didn't cut it fully. There we go. Let me pull up the bottom layer. Really? I didn't cut deep enough. Okay, since this is clear tape, I don't know if it matters as much because you can see the white canvas through the back either way. Sometimes I don't like when I cut like that because you'll see a piece where you didn't cut the tape enough and then it kind of ripped at a knot angle or something. And again, I'm too picky, I know. That's one of those things you can be as picky as you want to be, right? Just try to line that corner up, line that corner up, and hopefully dig in enough, but not dig in too much. Again, this one's not working. Okay. Okay. Come on. There we go. Now this layer that's under this, there we go, and I think that corner folded over itself, didn't it? Eh, piece of the tip cut off, I'm not a fan of it, but again it's very hard to notice with the color of this tape. If the tape was more colorful you'd definitely notice that. Right out, and my corners are done. So you got the top corner up here, which looks like it's lining up pretty nicely. You got that corner there, which lines up pretty nicely. This corner here, where a tip ripped off of this one, or I cut it at an odd angle and it wasn't covered enough. And then this one, which lines up pretty nicely. So, yeah, there she is. Still might cut these pinks out of her. Hmm. But if I do that, I may as well 
pull this black through this letter here and move this dark blue, dark blue, dark gray color up this line of the letter here. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. It doesn't look bad. I'm, I'm being me, right? But you do see where I say this black line should just go up to the top of this L, right? Well, either way, this video wasn't too long and now it's extremely long. Well, not extremely long. I guess an hour isn't that bad for this, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys have a happy Valentine's and hopefully you like the Betty Boop. Thank you guys for picking her. She was nice to work on, even though I think she could have used a little bit more stick. She was very quick, which was nice, and I didn't really have any issues with drills all too much or anything like that. Um... She has plenty of drills of all colors left. So, hopefully you guys have a nice day, night, or morning. Hopefully your day, night, and morning go well and continues to go well. And hopefully if you did anything for Valentine's Day, even if it was just something by yourself like working on a painting, you enjoyed your time. <laughs>